Webflow claims to give you the side of your dreams without a single line of code. But can it actually do that? What I know for sure is that Webflow can look a bit more advanced and complex than the website builders I usually tend to cover. But don't worry, this Webflow review breaks it down and highlights all the things to know about Webflow. First, I have to compare Webflow with another platform. I would say it's similar to WordPress, of all things. And that's because Webflow is also divided between two different modes, one for design and one for content management. In Webflow's case, it's the Webflow designer and the Webflow editor, also known as Content Management System or Webflow CMS for short. Webflow designer is uh, gonna be your bread and butter if you want to build a website, of course. This tool requires no code to work with, but despite that, I found it has more than enough capabilities to build a rather unique looking website. Besides using common Webflow templates, you can leave room for creativity and make custom designs for your interface. There is clearly a certain expectation here. Beginners, they're bound to have troubles with this app, much like with uh, something like Photoshop, which was clearly an inspiration for Webflow's designer interface. But I've got to say this, after playing around with Webflow Designer's features, I believe there are providers with less complicated learning curves, such as uh, Site123 or Squarespace, for example. Still, despite the slow start you might have with Webflow, how it works is the next question we're going to answer. Fortunately, there's a built-in Webflow tutorial, and I dare to say it does a great job at explaining the basics of this platform. That said, if you want to learn everything that the Webflow Builder has to offer, I'd say um, uh, the tutorial alone may be a bit insufficient. Webflow actually anticipates and offers advanced learning courses called the Webflow University. These courses are, well, jokes aside, rather excellent, particularly because they demonstrate a core fact about Webflow's difficulty. It's only hard to learn, but extremely easy and of course satisfying to use when you know what you're doing. My only issue is with a learning curve like this that gets um, dangerously close to just being a vertical line. So that was the first half of the Webflow platform. Now, what can I say about the Webflow Editor? If we look at this, um, if the Webflow Designer is what makes your website, and the Webflow Editor is what makes it great. It's honestly indispensable if you're planning to have a big, ever-changing website, as managing all the content through a designer alone is going to be a real chore. The Editor, on the other hand, allows you to publish, schedule, and edit the content on your website in one place through a single Webflow grid. And if you're running, let's say, a project with other people involved, some plans actually allow you to invite guest editors and manage different content simultaneously. With these capabilities available for every user, what kinds of websites can you actually build with Webflow Website Builder? What I would say is that uh, you're actually not really limited and you can build a variety of different websites. But in my experience, Webflow remains perfect for more experienced users who already know a bit about making money from their site. But I do prefer Webflow as an e-commerce option. On the account of Webflow Editor being such a convenient tool to manage both products and inventory in a rather satisfying simplicity. Webflow allows you to sell both physical and digital goods. And of course, uh, you can also set up multiple variants for existing items and managing inventory and shipping is simplified down to the single click. All the benefits of the best web tools, you know. And if you're looking to run a successful Black Friday deal or something rather similar, Webflow allows you to set up limited discount campaigns, whether you are looking to limit the duration of discounts, for example, or the number of people that can use coupons. Talking about payments. With Webflow, you can accept payments from over 200 countries. And that, of course, also includes paying through credit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, all that jazz is within the options you can choose. Starting with the Plus plan, Webflow won't even enact any transaction fees. Marketing and SEO are also made easy with Webflow. 
Just the built-in options include a lot of features you can play with to ensure your business is functioning as intended. This is further enforced by Webflow allowing you to use compatible third-party add-ons and software. That said, I'm not sure I would recommend Webflow if you are deeply involved in analytics, as the platform itself doesn't have an in-house analytics option. Like for instance with uh, other platforms like Squarespace, which offers quite extensive analytics options. Instead, Webflow will encourage using Google Analytics, and I'm not gonna lie here, it's not always the best option to consider. In-house solutions are bound to give more comprehensive e-commerce data than something like Google Analytics on account of it being a third-party solution in this case. To continue my thoughts with some of the downsides, I don't see Webflow being very successful for small e-commerce projects. The advanced e-commerce plans get very expensive, especially compared to the competitors like Zyro and Squarespace. To make matters even worse, the platform itself is exceedingly hard to pick up and just starting up your business may be too arduous of a process to justify the result. So, if you are looking for, say, a more beginner-friendly e-commerce platform, I recommend Squarespace. Amongst the website builders, it's the one offering all necessary e-commerce features while not asking for a lot of effort in return. Perfect for beginners. And since I've now touched the rather briefly upon pricing of Webflow, let's cover it in detail as well. First things first, the free stuff. You can get the starter plan for free, but as far as website plans go, it's uh, extremely lackluster. With other website plans, you will be able to make more. More blogs, more business landing pages, more portfolios, all that stuff without having traffic and security limitations of the free version. No Webflow ads on your page as well, which is always a great deal. Getting a website plan will currently cost you from around $14 to $39 per month, depending on what plan features you are looking for. Webflow e-commerce plans go separately and their pricing varies vastly, from something like $29 a month to $212. Between three different plans you can choose here, you'd need to figure out how many items you're planning to manage and what annual revenue are you expecting. As for plan features, starting with the second most expensive all business plan elements are included, such as CMS items, limit of monthly submissions, and amount of guest editors you can invite. That way, you're not losing on anything while going strictly with the e-commerce plan. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, sub to the channel and check my hosting playlist. I've gathered uh, quite a bit of reviews there that you might want to check out. At the end of the day, Webflow is still a good, fairly advanced platform, especially focused on e-commerce. While it can be used for other stuff, comparing Webflow versus WordPress, Zyro or Squarespace, it becomes apparent that Webflow might overcomplicate the website building process for someone who is new to the game. You gotta really get into website design to make Webflow worth it, otherwise, I think you're just better off sticking with an easier option to make things work for you. That said though, if you need an advanced option that needs no code, Webflow is a great website builder to try out. And that's gonna be it for this Webflow review. What do you think? What kind of experience did you have with Webflow? Do you think it's just the right amount of advanced or way too complicated? Leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.